Hi guys, guess what? Wave 2, the, the, the MPC, mass production copies, have arrived. So that means it's going to arrive to you, well, it's going to be shipped to you soon. So, I think you liked the first uh, wave uh, of unboxing, so we're going to do that and we will start by the biggest, the biggest box uh, in the whole range. Siege. I can tell you it's super heavy. We received the PPCs before, but we didn't have all, uh, all the minis inside. This time we have everything, so uh, we're gonna see what it is. Uh, just a, a little warning first. It's not shrink wrapped here because we needed to, uh, to check if everything was in the box. So we checked before we sent you know, the approval uh, uh, note uh, and then we put everything back. So you're going to see something that has been opened, but it's definitely what you will have. So let's start. So as you know, Siege uh, is the expansion that allows you to play Siege scenarios. Uh, you have huge castles, you have tons of material. I can tell you it's definitely the heaviest box we have in the range. Okay, so let's open it. Oh, and this time you have one big, big box inside the box. Oh, more than one. <laughs> one. Two. Three and four. So, as usually, as you know, we have two rule book, one in French and one in English. So, this one is the English one. So, let me show you. Oh, yes, look at all the material. Oh, so this is uh, the art of Siege. Uh, as you know, we have a, a card game that allow you to, it allows you to play the before the Siege phase. So in, a, in 10 to 15 minutes, you will play this and this will uh, simulate what happened right before you play the Siege scenario. So maybe uh, this wall has been destroyed by a war machine. Maybe uh, you have sent some, uh, uh, spies and then you have this little advantage maybe you have a little more troops than usually to, to deploy everything will be done uh, through this uh, this little card game so you have the description here of the content the special rule for the siege you have special rules for the rampart uh, the 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 tower uh, the gatehouse the keep um, uh, the ruins uh, the siege tower the palisade so a few new rules, and then this card game that I mentioned, that will simulate uh, the before the siege uh, month. And then you have some scenario. So this is the first one for two players. This is another one for two players as well. Usually it's for two players, you know, the siege. Uh, and you see this one is really, really, really big. Uh, <laughs> A big one. This one is for two players as well. Uh, yeah, and it's uh, it, it's with Joan of Arc. Mm, I've played it several times. It's great, great, great. Um, then you have the same with the English, with the French rule book. Now we have also some new punch boards that I'm going to show you. So. You have, of course, uh, the, the these are the locations where you put the, the ramparts uh, from the, the castle. So when they're destroyed, they become ruins. This is why you have the ruins, because once you have destroyed the, the walls, you simply remove it and then this will appear. One, two, you have bridges. Oh. If you have the village expansion, you can replace uh, these tokens, bridge, uh, these bridge tokens, by real wooden uh, minis representing uh, the, the bridges, and they are exactly this size. These are the scales. These are used for uh, the card game, the siege card game I mentioned. You have supply, and I don't remember.
remember what supply, I don't remember the second uh, resource. And then you have the inside, uh, the keep. So you have the tower and you have several levels. So you can, you can just place this next to it and that means you can climb up uh, the tower and this is inside the keep. All right, now let's see the minis. Let's open these box. Start with the big one. Oh my God, look at that. You have like uh, the gates, the, the towers, and the walls, the big walls. But we have some other walls. Let's see the other, the other ones. Okay, so these are the connecting walls. So these are where you put the towers. I will show you. Uh, these are ruins. I have some ruins. Oh, we have some war machines. Yes, uh, excellent. Oh, this is the, the ram. I think you call it like that. We have some minis, like the servants, uh, some new base because all the base, uh, the bases are included with each, each expansion. The only ones that are not included are for um, the stretch goals, you know? So you have enough to play the scenarios, but as, as I said, if, if you want more bases, you needed the plunder. Uh, these are, yes, the servants, so we will see them. It's really cool. And the bombard and the culverine. So if I take some little servants, where are the servants? For instance, this one. You will, you will see how what it does. Service? Yes, here they are. So you have the guy who's watching above and uh, the other one uh, who's pointing. So, for instance, I put him here, I put this one here. This is what it does. It's super cool. And same with. Uh, with this one, you, you, you take one of each and it gives you, yeah, the two servants are here. And same with the, uh, with the culverine and it fits. These are the trebuchet. Look at look. <laughs> Yes, they can move. I, again, I will put only one example and just. Uh... Look, at, look at that, guys. This is so cool. <laughs> so. So yes, this is great. Some little the sappers, you know the these guys are sent to to dig and to place sometimes explosives or fire or and then you have some some guys with the first fire weapons but they were very very long to, to charge and so you have some, yeah, these guys also. These are the little shields.
Okay, let's open the, the last box and then we'll try and make it one castle if you will. Oh, this is the key. Look at that. Oh, this is awesome. Look at, look at the key. Okay, look at the size. This is the siege tower. Again, this is wonderful. That's gorgeous. You have some roofs. If you want to transform a tower with a, a roof, you can simply put it here. That's, that's nice if you want to make them uh, separate. Let's see, for instance, on this one, you see, instead of having just a, a regular tower, you can, you can make it special with, with, the, with the roof. It looks super cool. We have some palisades as well. Look at them. Extra palisades for some scenarios that come uh, on top of the, of the ones you have in the, uh, in the core box. With the, uh, the unit cards as usually so you have intrigue cards these are the intrigue cards for uh, the scenarios uh, these are the new characters the new heroes in the scenarios also and in French and in English and these are, this is the card game. So you have the card game. Yeah. And this it's in French. Yeah. French. Okay. French and English, you see? So if you're the attacker or if you're the, the attacker and the defender. French and in English, of course. All right, so let's, let's try and make our own little castle. Okay. Let's take some tiles so you can see how it works. So you see you have different tiles that represent uh, the inside of the castle. Of course, you could, I could take more uh, than this, but this will give you an idea. So you see this is a long wall, so I need a long wall to be put here. Then I need a small wall with a connection. So the, the walls and you have two sides. Some are yes, like this and, the, and then like this. So you need to, to, to find which is the flat surface and which is the round surface. I need a round surface to this round one. So I will put this one like here. And I need a tower here to do, uh, to do a, the connection. Then I need uh, another small one to do the connection to, to go here. And I need a long wall. Um, or maybe let's take, let's say this is the entrance of the castle. I will even take, I will even put, yes, like this. Yeah. And uh, let's, let's do the little, the last little part of our castle. Uh, so a small connection with the round surface, uh, no, with the, flat surface. Um, let's see. Yes. Yeah. It has to be. Yeah. It has to be like this. Yes. This will work. And then uh, another tower. And 
finally, uh, one last connection to go here. You see, this is, it, it makes a very convincing and cool castle. In the inside, you can put some soldiers here. They will perfectly fit. You can put them also in the, uh, inside the, the castle. Let, let me put, yeah, let's try with uh, this. This will also work, see? Um, if I want to put them on bases, because you will see. If I want to put them on bases, Let's say uh, I put like these artillery men. Let's say we have a big castle inside. Yeah. See, it will also fit in here. Yeah. Um, you can see. Siege engine, the ram coming at it, and I'm only taking a little bit of everything we have, so it's just to give you uh, uh, an idea. But you see, this is what it would look like uh, in just a few minutes. But of course, you can have a super big castle with. All, all the rest that is here, see? Um, ruins also. This is super impressive. To give you an idea of the material. There you are. That's amazing. You, you're going to be able to play, to create your own little castle and to play some siege game. This is really uh, bringing a, a completely different uh, atmosphere and feeling to the game. Uh, we've played lots of and lots of uh, siege games like this and it's it's amazing because you you really have to defend uh, inside the castle. Uh, you have some war machines that can break the walls. You're trying to find a bridge to 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 go in. Uh, and it's really lovely to play with your little castle, isn't it? <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there will be more uh, to come. Uh, we have all week two, and we will release uh, the unboxing videos as they come. Please. Give, give us some comments and tell us what you think of this incredible material. Thank you very much, and I look, I look, look forward to, uh, for you to receive, uh, to receive it. <laughs> bye bye.